Hello basketball coaches and basketball players. My name is Alan from Al's Basketball Training and today I'm gonna to show you some fantastic one-on-one -on -one basketball moves that are used by Michael Jordan and Shaq himself. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break down each of, the, uh, each of these moves and then from there, I'm gonna show you the actual live video of them using these moves as well. So let's just get down to it. Okay, so first off, you're gonna notice that Michael Jordan's move is gonna be a little bit more calm and collective, and that's the type of player who he was. He was a very calm and collective player. However, he was able to talk shit and be able to back up what he was saying on the court and be able to destroy players any way he can. So one thing you're going to notice between two of the, both of these players is the fact that they go to the mid post to be able to run their move. Now that's something that you can do in your one on one game as well. You don't really want to take too many three point shots because obviously you're going to be just practicing your three point shot at that point, but it's a little bit higher of a percentage to get closer to the rim. And if you can fake your player out to get him off the ground, it's even better and it's going to allow you to be able to score a lot easier. So let's start getting down to Michael Jordan's move. Okay, so the first move I'm gonna to talk to you about is the move that Michael Jordan used. And that is, he was posting up Shaq, and then, and because of Shaq's size, Michael Jordan couldn't back him down like this because he's not gonna get anywhere with it. So he has to go shoulder first and into the player. And then he takes a hop step back, and then he just takes a shot fake, which is able to get Shaq off the ground. As I was saying before, you're going to want to get your opponent off the ground so you can have an easier shot. So then when he gets off, as soon as he gets off that ground, so you take that hop step back, you take that shot fake. If that gets your player off the ground, now on his way back down, you're going to take that shot. This is going to allow you to be able to score a lot easier and you can use this in a real actual five on five games as well in three on three games and that is if you can get your defender off the ground there's anything you want you can do to him so let me show you this move so this next move is the move that Shaq used in their one-on-one -on -one game and this is a fantastic move for you to use as well especially if you're a center and you can use this in five on five and three on three games as well so Shaq started out on the perimeter and then he basically he went to size up Michael Jordan with the crossover and then he started to back him down he did one to two dribbles backing down Michael Jordan so that he can get better position on the court and when he backed down Michael Jordan when he got to that second dribble he did a shoulder fake like if he was going to fake this way and come back around to take that shot which is what Michael got Michael Jordan off the ground then Shaq turned around and took his shot and this is a great move to use and if you're mobile and agile like Shaq was even though he was a massive player this is a move that you can do yourself in your next game or your next one-on-one -on -one game now the thing with shoulder fakes is a lot of players when they're doing a shoulder fake they're just gonna be like kind of like a, a, a shimmy which is not what you want to do you want to make it look like you're actually gonna turn in that direction so when you back down your player you really have to move your whole body from your waist up. You need to move that. It's not just a regular shoulder fake where you're shimmying the shoulders. You need to move the whole, your whole body from, the sh from your waist up to make it look like you're actually gonna turn in whatever direction that you're faking in. So with the double shoulder fake, you're backing down your opponent. You can really move your waist and up, turn around because that's hopefully getting him off the ground so you can take that shot. Now let's see the move in fast motion and let's see also Shaq running this move as well. Now something to really quickly to keep your mind on as well is both of these moves are great to use in your next one-on-one -on -one game and your next five-on-five -five or three-on-three -three game. The only thing I suggest is for you to actually practice these moves on the court yourself before you do it in a game. Because anytime you're starting or trying a new move, you're going to want to try that move yourself without having to have the stress 
of doing it in game. Now I hope that these moves help you become a better basketball player and I hope that they help you score a lot easier. If, you, if they have, hit that like button and subscribe and, I, and comment below. And I will see you guys again next time in our next video, which is tomorrow because I post twice a day. And also, if you want to have any kind of special moves or player moves, comment below. I want to know the, the players that you like and enjoy to watch.